What's going on YouTube? This is the LA Prepper and we are in a decent mood today because we are building a bug out boat. And you have to forgive my, my indecency, but it's uh, just a little bit warm and toasty in my place and I am sweating, kind of sweating, so. It's just too hot to wear a shirt right now. Honestly, if I wasn't on camera, I'd probably be working on my boxers. But I got light coming in and I don't need to be giving my neighbors a boxer show, so. I don't think they'd appreciate that. Well, at least I don't think the boyfriends would appreciate that. Who knows about the, uh, <laughs> who knows about the girlfriends? Who knows? Alright, that's so good. That's looking pretty. Yeah, I should have marked the top. In fact, maybe I'll do that right now just so like, well, it's, maybe it's okay. Alright, so glue. That's sort of the uh, the thickness of the of the screw here. Oh, what the? What are you doing, buddy? Okay, so you can see there, I was a little out of the hole and uh, or a little misaligned, and it kind of wanted to push off. So let's. Come on, buddy. What's your deal? <sighs> Woo! That was a lot of torque to drive that guy in. Good lord. Good lord. Okay. Oh, my drills. My drill smells too. Let's go over to our, God, that gap is just, oh, I need a chop saw, YouTube. I need a chop saw. This is, you know, this piece is kind of over-engineered, so I'm not that worried about it, but it just pains me. Let me show you what I'm talking about. See that gap? That's, ugh, that is horrible, but. I don't know if I can necessarily do better with the skill saw by hand, so we just have to kind of suffer. Suffer with the imperfection of this craft, which I don't think it's going to be its biggest downfall. The biggest downfall is that it's such a darn unique thing that trying to sell it is going to be a little challenging. And I don't know if I want to move with it because... If I move it to another studio, I don't exactly have a ton of room. That's okay though. All right, let's go one and a quarter, two and a half. Okay. 
this head again. Use our uh, third third hand here. Get one in. Get number dose in. Oops. All right. Whew. So, wah, there you have it. So there you have it, YouTube one complete uh, outboard subframe. One complete outboard subframe. And if you're wondering how this fits into the whole thing, I have explained it before, but I'll explain it again. So we have our main piece, which is very similar to this on the main board. And then this goes on one surfboard and I have an identical one that's gonna go on the other. And then the cross member is going to just bolt up here with two bolts right to the center. I need to drill those holes, but I haven't done that yet. Um, and that is going to be on the surfboard. And the surfboard is going to be kind of going up like this. Um, most of the force is going to be down and up because if I'm sailing, if this is on the leeward side, it's going to be down. If it's on the windward side, it's going to want to be pulling it up. Maybe even out of the air, ideally, I'm mounting this about an inch, either lower or higher, depending on how you want to do it. But I'm trying to mount this an inch or two higher than the center because when I'm going windward, you know, when I'm going like this, I want this one to be, if the wind is coming from this way, I want this one to be out of the water. If the wind's coming from this way, I want the windward side to potentially lift up so we can reduce drag because drag is bad. All right, I'm going to reset, um, start working on the next one. I'll probably see if I can get at least halfway through before I do the video, because I don't know if I need a whole video of me going through the exact same stuff all over again, but we will see. Until next time, a like, comment, subscribe, and keep prepping.